All right. Welcome, wonderful friends, to this week's episode. I wanted to do something a little different today. I am doing kind of a live recording. I don't know how to explain it any other way. Um, This is... I have not edited this yet, okay? (laughs) So you get to see me edit this literally as I go along. You're going to be joining with me on this. So the first thing that I like to do is get it into a square format. The main reason I like the square format is it helps my images feel more like an art piece instead of just like, a digital artistic portrait it makes it feel more like an art piece so that is why I like the square format and I always duplicate my background layer just so that if I ever messed up I can I still have my first layer original layer that I can fall back on first thing I want to do is change all right let's see if I can get this to look good I don't want to wait until (laughs) there is actually snow on the ground to do this picture. Plus it would be a lot more colder for my model. So I wanted to just change the grass and make it look like there is snow on the ground. So I'm starting off by just light lightening and removing some of that saturation. I need to come closer and see what's left. Because what this is doing is selecting all of those same colors and starting to come together a little bit. I think we still need to replace some color in there. We have these really dark areas. Let's see. There's still some green in here. There's a lot of different green. Oh my goodness. You know, you look at the grass, you're like, oh, it's so pretty. And now I'm like trying to take all the color out and um, there's so many. Look, that was kind of even a blue color. Who would have thought? (laughs) And then there's some brown in there I can see still. Grab that. Oh my goodness, there are so many colors in here. I can't even, let's see, does it even look white to you guys? I mean, it it still kind of looks just like a really light, light, light green. This is going to be kind of a process. Let's, oh, I've been taking that the wrong way. My goodness, pay attention, Sarah. (laughs) <laughs> Get with it. <laughs> is that? Oh my goodness. That must be a leaf. Grass is not. Well, live grass is. Okay, wrong. Okay, that one goes up. Oh my okay. That one goes down. This one goes up. <laughs> oh my goodness. What is. That is a bluish color. Let's bring the saturation. There we go. That, that. That looks a lot better. Oh no. See, and that's why. Cause now look how pale she's gone. But honestly, this will work out. I just want to duplicate this layer one more time cause I'm actually going to work on that layer. Um, let's see, what which tool do I want? I think I want the clone stamping. Make sure, okay. 
So I'm just gonna, well, you know, I think first of all, come on, square tool. I'm gonna just, all right, and I'm gonna hide this layer for just a minute. Cause what I'm gonna do is clone out my model and um, create kind of a soft, fluffy snow. And then we'll place the model back on top. We'll cut her out of this layer and place her on top. Okay. Clone stamp tool, alt, select an area and just start going over. Get rid of this. And um, I have learned this through many of mistakes. When you're cloning grass, um, you want to kind of go opposite sides. So I'm selecting over here for something that's over here, and over here for something that's over here. Um, because <laughs> when I've done grass before and I'm like, taking out weeds or a brown ugly dead spot in the grass and I start cloning just from like an area that's right next to it then you're just going to be duplicating all those pixels and it does not look realistic you just kind of want to do random so there's no pattern to it and all these little plants right there need to come out hopefully I can get some of these darker spots to go away too because typically that's not what snow looks like get some more fluffiness coming up here so it's not just a straight line and I uh, why didn't I just take the rest of that out I don't understand myself sometimes <laughs> now I have to think let's see I think yeah I want my model to be on the bottom third of this piece so I don't really need to extend that ground up anymore. I was kind of debating about it, but I think I'll keep it right about there. Let me just fluffy, fluffy, fluffy snow. I predict that we're going to have a lot of snow this year, which I am not at all excited about. I don't know. I don't, I don't mind it when it gets in the way of things hmm <laughs> anyway okay now let's just um, cut this the model out let's do let's just do the quick selection tool see if we can get a decent enough oh let's make sure we're select on that layer it's not gonna even register those pixels oh see mm. Oh, this really is supposed to... This is... I've said this before, but this is the most tedious part. And it... <laughs> drives me nuts. But this is the part. I mean, if you don't do this part right... Then your picture isn't going to come together very well. Oh goodness, no, I don't want those bricks selected. I want the tiara. I want. What is this like double layer going on back here? <sighs> this is why I'm I'm glad that I've learned how to draw hair, so that I don't have to. My goodness, her skin is just so similarly colored to these bricks. Come on, work with me, please. Come on. Oh, mm. yeah, this is not going to be one of the easier ones I've dealt with. The background is just too similar. Um, and I don't understand why it's being messy right there. 
Make sure the whole arm's selected. Well, I'm gonna have to come in closer anyways. Let's see, make sure we get all the dress. And what I'm gonna have to do is kind of clone out that grass the best that I can. All right. <sighs> All right. <laughs> hmm. All right. All right. Now we get a clone, or a, not a clone. Layer mask. Let's get our paintbrush. Um. For now, let's keep it pretty hard a uh, hard brush and we need black and 100% 100% okay all right um let's just kind of speed through this part um all right for this big area i think i will which do i want Make sure I'm on that layer, and it, okay. I just uh, this, I just don't like how long it sometimes takes to get a good a good cutout. When I have no patience, it's like someone just do this for me, please. All right, I'm just gonna fast forward this part real quick. Um, and that way you guys don't have to sit and watch every little detail, because, uh, I don't like watching it, <laughs> so we'll be back in, uh, just a minute. Alright, now that we've gone through that, I am going to apply this layer, because I know I'm not going to need to pull any of that layer back out, I don't need it back. But the convenience of doing that was in case I messed up while I did that, I can go back in and oh. and uh, it wasn't permanently erased like it would have been if I'd used the eraser tool. Yeah. All right, now I do feel like my model is um a little small, so let's let's make that little yeah. Let's see. Not too much. I think right there. All right. Now let's get. Let's see how the spot healing does on this. If I go in here to try and get rid. That worked good. Of some of this grass and I don't need it to be perfect because what I'm going to do is. Do a layer of snow on top so we can make it look like her dress has kind of sunk in and the snow is coming up around it a little bit. So let's get rid of this green the best we can. That does not look the best there so I'll make sure the snow comes up around there. But otherwise, this is working out a bit better than I thought it was going to, which is lovely. Come on, go away. Right there we go. What this is doing is kind of uh, selecting the pixels that are surrounding it to hide at that layer. Um, like the spot that's not working out quite the way I want. I'm gonna come in here with a little bit lower opacity of a, of a uh, clone stamp. All right, let's speed through this too. We'll be back in just a minute. Okay, now that I've got most of that grass taken care of, we are going to duplicate this snow layer and bring it above. Let's 
I'm going to create a layer mask. And I'm going to make this layer the opacity down a little bit so I can see through that. Get my brush. Let's do... Let's do... A little bit softer. I've never actually play, played around with the softness of brushes too much. I usually have it all the way up or all the way down. I think that probably looks good. Just kind of quickly go in here like this. And then we'll bring this opacity back up. We can see what we're doing. Okay. Actually, I want to keep that down just a little bit <laughs> so I can get in these a little bit more. All right. Now, one thing that I forgot to do that I need to do still is kind of, um, I wanted to blur. I wanted to blur that layer. So let's go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Uh, let me zoom in a little bit closer so I can see that. More blur, Gaussian blur, however you want to say that. <laughs> and uh, 6.2 looks pretty good. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, we want to keep it. Okay. That's looking pretty good so far. Now let's come over here and I have all these, well, before I get my petals, let's do my sky. Let's come down here, create a new layer. Let's name that sky. I want to just do, just a, just a, uh, whoop, wrong. I had that clicked. I was pretty sure. Come on. Listen to me. Oh, I know what I did. Okay. We want... Mm, not too dark of a gray, I guess. But I do want to get... Yeah. And then let's try... Where's my gradient? Let's try my gradient tool. I still can't... Yeah. That's not what I wanted. Let's see, where is it? This one. There we go kind of blend uh, those layers a little bit so it's not such a harsh line. And I also wanted to, um, I wanted to add some fog into there, but let's first pick a texture to put in our sky because it's gonna be pretty bland. So let's see, oh my heavens place embedded. There we go. Okay. <laughs> My work. Come on, files, respond. I'm waiting for you. Waiting, waiting, waiting. I hope this video is not going to be too extremely long. I'm trying to keep it to about 20 minutes. Why? All right. My stock images. <sighs> Oh, there's textures. Okay, I was like, that was the wrong file. All right. Now, I love Brook Shaden's textures. Let's see what I can find. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> I'm ha having some issues. <laughs> um, we're trying to sell our house and... uh having some issues there. All right. Ooh, this one looks nice and dark. Let's let's see how this looks. All right. Are you going to apply? Mhm. Mm let's see how this looks. I never 
I always just play around with these. I never have, uh, I don't like that there's this streak down here though. So let's get rid of that, pull it out. There we go. I don't know, I never know how a texture is gonna look until I apply it. Should we do soft light or overlay? Hmm, I honestly don't know if I even like that one. Hmm, just kidding. I, hmm, maybe this one. I honestly, it's like I don't have a look in my mind for the textures, just, I just keep going until it looks right. Maybe I don't want to change the blend mode, maybe I just need to bring the opacity down. Ooh, let's, let's blur it a little bit too, because I don't want it to be so... how it is now. I want to make it a little bit blurry because this is going to be quite a soft. Okay. Maybe let's let's duplicate that. And let's rotate it. And let's bring the opacity down even more on that one and so then we can have Just a little bit more texture. Mm. Golly. This is one of those where it's like, I hope this works out the way I'm wanting it to. Let's name that. Okay. Let's just start adding in these. Uh, rose petals now. I'm going to try and do blend mode and if that doesn't work ugh. let's see if one of these blend modes will oh there we go perfect then I don't have to oh goodness come on then I don't have to cut them out but let's put those behind the model and let's resize those they're a little big and I probably will put a little bit of a motion blur on that. Um, let's, see. let's grab these ones, just so we have a little variety. Come on, my computer is like way outdated. And it lags really bad sometimes. All right, that was a darken. Let's change size of that. And let's get I had four? Oh, well. Let's try and use all these to... Oh, come on. Okay. Paste that. Darken. Oh, just beautiful. I love, I love when a blend mode works to make this come together so much easier. All right, now this last one. Oh, come up around. Come on, my heavens, I okay. Darken. Hmm. I need to make her dress darker. Come on, I... I really have to click on that to transform you. Let's rotate those ones a little bit. Maybe we'll duplicate that layer. Put some more over here. Let's duplicate this one too. How's that looking? Hmm. 
let's okay now let's merge those layers so they're one layer oh gosh all right that still works scared me for a moment okay now I want to duplicate that la layer and we're gonna come filter blur let's do a motion blur and since they're gonna fall oh for heaven's sakes hmm how far do I want this just enough I think maybe it's too thick want to do is nah let's keep that let's do that for now let me I love adding clouds I mean I definitely need a cloud I mean it's raining rose petals so let's get a cloud stock images um, nature clouds I really just need to learn how to make my own clouds I mean I kind of do but I just I like let's do this one you need to be at the top we're probably gonna have to duplicate you a few times you're very very thin you're an atmospheric cloud but I like that we should put it yeah that'd make a good fog at the bottom too all right let's control J control J one more time yeah control J one more time and let's put that one at the bottom vertical I really feel like I need to come in here though and I don't usually yeah I don't usually do adjustments in Photoshop like that but that one really needed some contrast let's see Now let me merge, merge <laughs> those layers. I want to put it a little bit. Okay. Now I have a petal. Which one did I want to use? I don't think I quite knew until until I tried it out. Which petal would work the best? So I was just going to put a petal, petal directly in her hand, but I kind of got sidetracked. Let's feather that just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit, like 0 0.01, oh, just kidding, 0.1 is what I meant, 0.1. Let's put that behind my model. Petal, Control paste. You definitely need to darken that. Oh, wrong one. Let's see. And then size that. Oh, come on. Come on. That's not too bad. All right, I still feel like the model needs, yeah, it was kind of overly bright. Goodness, I need to do a little bit to this hair. Let me get my eraser. Come down and get my hair tool and let's bring the opacity down. 
Oh, come on, let's get in here. And let's just kind of curve out. Curve out. Wow, I don't know what I'm speaking. Cut out. So that it doesn't look so cut out. <laughs> let's cut it out so it doesn't look so cut out. You know what? I always forget this. Ah, oh, the spacing. I want it to be all the way down. And you're still. Let's see. Make it a little bit see through. So it looks like there's actually strands of hair going on here. Not so it's cut out and stuck there. I almost feel like those rose petals are a little big. still want to duplicate that level and do a motion, a small motion blur. And the reason I don't want to, I will see how it looks, but I don't want to motion blur. Let me, let me, res, res, oh my heavens. Okay. I want to keep a layer that's not blurred. just so you can still tell what those are. Because if we go like that, and then we get rid of the solid layer, it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's almost too blurry, but I want to keep some of the solid. That's what I want to do. And this fog, where is it? This fog right here. I feel like it's a little too dark. Okay. All right. Let's flatten the image. Save. Once you're done flattening. Let's open this up in Lightroom and see how finished we can make this look. No items match your shirt. It should. I guess because I haven't saved it yet. Before. Before yet. Before yet. Saved it before. I don't know. Alright. Which layer was I working on? I think it was this one. Come on. Speak to each other. Like I say, my computer is really ridiculously slow. There we go. It's right there. Open the develop tab. Oh, come on, respond, please. Please, I beg you. I've been good to you. Hmm. Okay. Now, the first thing I usually do is I... If it will listen to me. Oh. Goodness, come on. Wow. Hmm. Come on. My goodness. You can do this. You can do this. I don't want that. I want like point two zero zero zero. And then I add some contrast and a little bit of clarity. And I just paint that over the entire one just to give it a little bit of a <laughs> I don't know what I give it. I don't know, but just 
kind of wake it up a little bit, I guess, is what I do. Now, I need to come down to camera calibration. And this is when I play, like, do I want the red more pink or orange? Or, let's see, the skin. No, this is working with the red, too. That brightens it, definitely. But I think I want it on that end of the car. And this one works with the skins. Well. Yeah. I like that. Okay. So we took it from... It, very subtle change. Usually it is a very subtle change. <laughs> oh, wrong one. I want the brush again. Okay. Now, instead of... I mean, sometimes I just open up the um, effects and just add a vignette. But lately, that is not the case because I want... Let's get more feather on that. I want to just slowly build up my own vignette. And... Oh, the thing about this piece is that it's hard to add vignetting to something that is so bright. So what I usually do is I bring in the edges just so we can bring the focal point more towards the subject. And then I just create a new brush so we can do the same thing. That was almost a little too much though. Okay, and then on top of that I'm actually gonna add, let's see, let's do point three. Let's see how that looks. And we'll just kinda brighten up this midsection a little bit. Just to make that more contrasted. Alright, I want to see what I can do to these, um, rose petals. If I brighten... ...up the red a little bit. What color are you guys acting? Are you more magenta? You have some magenta. Let's see. No, we need to keep that down for the dress and the lipstick we have going on here. Oh, I definitely see what else I need to do here. <sighs> Let's take some of this noise. What is it doing? Are you listening to me? It's spinning. Okay. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. Now let's see. I feel like we need to add maybe... Warmth or coldness one way or the other. It's just... Oh goodness, you know what? Maybe I forgot something. Let's see how it look. I don't know if I can even add a shadow. I mean, she wouldn't really need a shadow, but I feel like we need mm. Let's just come under here and just Because if I, if I did an actual shadow, I don't think, well, I could maybe build that up a little bit, but let's do add it. Let's see how it, there we go. There we go. All right. I like it. It's very simple. 
but beautiful. Thank you guys for watching. I have a lot of ideas to do still for the rest of the year. I know the year is almost done already, but I look forward to sharing with you my new ideas, you guys. So I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.